Hey guys, how's it been going? This is Jaser. Uh, today it's about another problem on BFE.dev. It's uh, implement array prototype flat. I think I've done this before, like uh, several months ago. Allow me to try it again. Because on BFE, there's now a new judge. I can check if my code is right or not wrong. Okay, uh, the time is up. Uh, the, the, the timer is starts. Allow me to read the uh, description first and I'll start the, uh, start the button. Okay, we're going to implement a ray prototype flat. It's already in JavaScript in a newest spec. And can we manage to implement the, uh, my own, our own uh, version? Like we're having an array like this, nested array. If we call it flat, flat it without the second parameter, it's default to one. Okay, so the one, two, three, four will become like this. Means um, the, the brackets will be removed right the first brackets will be removed and then if we call two then set second uh the second one nested brackets will be removed so it's something like this so so uh if we pass two or pass three the result is the same okay let's first try to solve it recursively and then iteratively okay so recursively we just loop through the array and if it is not an array then we just uh, collect it as the f one of the elements in the final result, right? When we met an array, we remove the brackets and we push the elements in our array uh, one by one. And because we already removed removed the uh, bra square brackets, the depths will be uh, subtracted with one, right? Would be one less. So it's naturally a recursion solution. Let's create a result array, empty array, and uh, look through the elements. If it is an array, and then we uh, we will we push the flatten elements, right? So flatten flat item depths minus one recursively. So this will be uh, the uh, second parameter will become one and zero. So when it's zero, it means there's no need to we we don't. Uh, remove any brackets so there's another check here depths bigger than zero mm -hmm. and if it's not array it must be something else like number or anything we just uh, push it right result we push the item uh, cool so and then uh, we just return the result i think it should work cool um before we submit it we try to solve it with uh iteration also I think this could be rewritten in a better, better fashion. Like you use reduce. Can we do it? Okay, I'll try to rewrite it. Array. This is just a typical reduce, reduce, uh, situation, right? So I'll just reduce. Um, the this is the result. This is the item. And default uh, initial uh, uh, result is empty array. Okay, um, and I will copy the code here for this is the item. Uh huh. If it is array, we push it and then push it and then we return the result. I think this should also work. Yeah, that's it. This is the second will be reduced and then we try to solve it with iteration. Iteration means we cannot use flag direct flat directly like this right um so for a recursion we either use a queue or a stack for the case here because it's nested of course uh it's uh it's not like uh, first thing first out there's what there's depth like uh yeah like we have three four as a one element we push it into the stack uh, or the, uh, the list i would say and it, we need to handle this first, right? Because we need to de de remove the brackets. So it's. T I think it should be a stack. Let's just write down the uh, the 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 array. First element is one. It is not array. We add it to the result, and the rest element will be something like this, right? And then we made an array of two. It's an array. We get it out. We uh, remove the brackets and then push it back. 
So it will be something like this. And then we again we check two. So it's a typical uh, it's a stack, right? And then we um, we add a two to the result final result. We got three, four, a nested array. We do the same. We move the brackets and got three, four, and then three again. Added to the result, we have a now array of four. Remove the uh, remove the brackets. Got four again, and then finally four is moved to this uh, moved to the result. Cool. So let's uh, let's write the code according to our analysis here. So the result will be empty. Uh huh. We will have a stack. Uh -huh. We will uh, loop through the elements and push to the uh, and if it is array, we process it and push it back to the stack, right? And then if it is not array, we uh, put it to the result. Okay, so while stack then while stack is not empty. Uh -huh. We get the element. Uh, uh, obviously, we should use pop, but uh, our analysis here is uh, is getting an element of uh, from the uh, from the head. So I will say, um, we, it is still a stack, but it's we will use shift. Okay, so head will be stack shift. But the initial state for stack will be uh, array, right? We say we okay, and uh, if array, the, if the head is array, we will put the elements in it, right? It will be stack on shift on shift uh huh uh, head. Cool. And then if it is not array, we will just uh, uh, one. We get the order one, two, three, four. So we push it right. So we result. We push the head. There is a problem with the depth. Let's handle that later. We will return the result. So now, when we uh, remove a bracket, we need to uh, decrement the depth. But the depth information is nowhere to be found, right? So I think we need to actually um, attach the depth information to the array element, right? Yeah, so I will attach the depth, depth to each element. I mean, I will map it. I will map item, change it to item depth. This is the depth for each element. I think okay this should work. And then we, when we get the head actually it should be head and this is the depth right? Get them out, the head, the depth. Uh -huh. If it is array and the depth is bigger than zero then we unshift and uh, put them back, right? And the the head, it is an array head. Now the items for this head must have a depth of a new depth, right? Depth minus one. So this should be because it's just array. So map item item depth minus one. Okay, the uh, the uh, parenthesis, uh -huh, uh -huh, this. Yeah, if it is not, we push the head. So I think this should work. Let's review our code before we try. Okay, so the stack will have, uh huh. So something like one, a uh, one. So this is still one. This is one. And then we get the one out. 
because it's uh, not array, we get this, right? Uh -huh. We will get this. And then we, yeah, we get it out. And this is a, because this is array, and uh, this is bigger than zero, so we'll push the element in. Right? So we have one, two, zero now. Now we get two again, two, because this depth is become zero, two is pushed to the result. Okay, three again. Okay, three, uh, we have something like this now. Uh huh. Now we get three and get this, right? Get this. This is array. Uh huh. So we push them in, N, become zero, and this is zero. But uh, this is for the case of depths equals one. Okay. Now we get three out. Uh, three is um, not array. We add to add it to the result, and now we have element 4, uh, the array here, we got this, but it's already 0, so we push this into the result, right? Directly, so it's gone. Yeah, so I think it should work. Let's try. Yeah, cool. And actually, uh, I have to say that shift is not performant. Shift is not performant, because the index keeps changing, right? When we shift or unshift something. I think we should do use uh, in a reverse fashion, which is uh, we use push and pop, and uh, we only do reverse here. Okay, so uh, I think when we pushed it in, we use pop here. So this is top, uh -huh. because it's symmetric, it doesn't matter. We pop, we push them in, so it's push now and the results we get it we push it and then we need to um, reverse it reverse cool hmm? no head oh I'm sorry head where's head and hmm? where's head result uh -huh. stack on top top uh -huh. oh Great, so this is it. We have done it in both in uh, recursion and iteration. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye. Oh, submit it.